Well, the road to a password-free future is already underway, and that's good news for all of us. The latest data breach of a leading password manager is a timely reminder that we need a more secure system online. To explain, let's check in with Image Matrix tech editor Juro San Juro. How can we move on from passwords? Uh, good morning to you, Tim. And the simple way to do it is use a system that's being developed by an, an alliance called FIDO, and it's uh, called Passkeys. So here's a little bit of an example of what you can do. It essentially removes the fact of using a password, and you just use your device, your phone or something else, mostly your phone, to log into, say, for this example, eBay. So you no longer have to type out a password. So this uses a type of cryptography that has a public key and a private key. So you never need to know a password. In fact, the bad guys will never guess the password because it doesn't really exist. So you can see here, the phone is your key. So uh, you do have to have a phone or something else like that. Apple's backing it, Google's backing it, Microsoft is, a is backing it. And it means that we no longer have to worry about passwords. Now, it does mean that websites, like I said, for eBay or uh, someone else will need to have uh, develop this system on their website. So there's a long way to go, Tim, but the signs are very good that all the heavies out there are backing pass keys as a way to getting into your website or whatever else. All you need to do is authorise it. We already do it. Use your thumb or your face ID. This way, you'll never have to remember a password again. So it is starting to get underway. And if you're interested, just do a search on Apple's website or on uh, Microsoft's or on Google for pass keys and get yourself started because uh, hopefully the websites will come thick and fast over the next year or so as the cyber threat continues to increase every day. And there's the positive stories, and I'm going off script a little bit here, when it comes to cyber threat, as you mentioned, with hacking and everything else that goes with it. There are plenty of others working against the tide, plenty of others like this organisation, government organisations that are working to be better at stopping the cyber threats. And if you look into it really deep, Tim, they really love what they do and it is incredibly hard mathematics to overcome. But this is clever stuff. I've read a lot of books on uh, cryptography and love the stuff from World War II, how they were able to overcome the Germans in that battle because of the work from crypto crypto cryptographers back in the day. So this is great stuff. So there is a, an army of people working against to help us out. Mm. We, it is a bit of a, a bit of a leap technology-wise for us to get our heads around it. But once you do, we will, I can guarantee you, say in five years' time, we'll say, remember those silly things called passwords? We won't need them. Yeah, yeah. I remember the movie with Benjamin Cumberbatch. That was a sensational movie. Fantastic. Now, now yeah. you said you'd come back to us about LastPass, the password manager. That was hacked yeah. last year. What's the update there? Yeah, yeah I, I did, and uh, the reason I want to come back to you is that uh, since the, the several announcements last year from LastPass, so LastPass is a password manager. I pay for this service and have done for some years, back to 2018, and it was hacked. Not only that, it was hacked and they socially engineered it so they could get some more information, which included password vaults. So your vault is out there. My vault is out there, and criminals have it. Now, it will take them millions of years to crack mine because it was a really big password. But those who don't have great passwords could have the risk of their password vault being hacked. Now, the great thing is they never know the password, but the way it rolled out, Tim, an announcement just before Christmas Day uh, and just not being as forthright and as urgent with the news, I think that I just can't stay with LastPass anymore. I'm going to get, if there's anyone out there who is on LastPass, and I know I would have encouraged people in the past to be with them, there are plenty of other really good uh, uh, software or I should say password managers out there. I am uh, going to take you through the process on Image Matrix Tech how to move to another password manager. So remember, don't panic if you're there. You've got plenty of time to make a decision, but just know you should probably change the key passwords to your banking and that sort of stuff. Remember, even if you change your password at LastPass now, that doesn't protect you from the hackers because they have an older version of your backup, so they can try and brute force it. But if you have a long password, you're pretty sweet. But uh, I've decided that I'm going to move on to another service.
Yeah, and that's what you've got to do, doesn't you? Because tech just changes that quick. That's another thing that we're getting a lot of, aren't we? We're getting these yep. messages from banks, like if you go to an ATM, it happens all the time now, was this you, was this you, was this you? And I don't think it annoys people because you'd rather find out. You'd rather be asked the question than just the world float down in a world where people are trying to get at you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Jimmy, they have to be up front. And just on that, uh, if you do get some a spate of text messages and emails, there's other information around that last pass hack that could be leading to that. So mm. you just got to be switched on when that happens because once the breach happens, you're a target. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Apple's mixed reality headset is getting closer to being a reality and the word is it won't be cheap. Well, it never is. <laughs> About 2000 to 3000 US dollars. Uh, I don't think that's too cheap, but they're sort of looking at, at a pro line. Now, at CES, I always love looking at his vision because everyone looks really foolish wearing headsets. I've done it in the past, but it is pretty fun when you're wearing them. So a lot of people have got them out there, but if they're really that good, then we'd all have them. So we're all waiting for Apple. And there's even more information in the last couple of weeks that Apple are really close to delivering. And the hope is later this year, we will see at last Apple's AR VR headset called Mixed Reality. And mm. you can do all this stuff here, but they'll have extra cameras It'll look like sort of ski goggles, possibly have an external battery supply that you plug in, but I'm sure it'll be pretty slick and uh, I can just see you cruising around <laughs> like that, Tim. I'm glad you can. <laughs> I um, Look, just, just quickly, uh, many of us parents with school-aged children have had to do the late-night yes. dash for printer ink. Of course, you've got to be printing stuff all the time, only to find it's cheaper to buy a new printer. Now, tell us how you can avoid that with school just a few weeks away. Yes, I've been through it. I had to do the dash myself easily. You have got to get something with an eco tank or ink bottles. So I've had this printer you're seeing here. I videoed it last night. It's a bit rough around the edges. It's three and a half years old. Tim, this is the first time I filled up the black ink bottle in three and a half years. That's it there and the others. So this cost about $30 for the, the fat uh, ink bottle, the black one, and the others are much cheaper. So uh, I'm filling it up there. That's all you have to do. Yeah. And that to me is incredible. So I filled it up last night. I'm ready to go for another three and a half years. Now this is for a general printer. This is what you're looking at with this printer I've got here. That's got 10 cartridges. This is a specific photo printer, so it needs that. I get that stuff. But for general printing, you don't need cartridges. Look at that. It's going to save you a fortune. You will mm. pay a little bit more for the printer up front, but it's like the, you know, they had the old razor blade sort of oh, yeah. thing going where you pay more for the printer cartridges. Well, you don't do that. So get onto an eco tank. That one's from Epson. I love it. This is going to surprise you, but I don't know how to use a printer at our place. And it's a, <laughs> and if my wife's watching this morning, she won't be happy because she goes, you just you need mean, to give it a five-minute lesson. You mean some tech you don't use? Oh, I know. It's a, yeah, that'll get a, that's really going to surprise you. Come, <laughs> mate, thank you so much, buddy.